Well, new developments for Idaho's longest serving death row inmate Thomas Creech. Today, the Idaho Supreme Court denied a motion to stay his execution. Creech is convicted of five murders in several states. So how did we get here? Our Abby Davis has the story. On February 28th, the state of Idaho plans to execute this man, 73 year old Thomas Creech. He's been behind bars for about 50 years, more than 40 of those on death row, the longest in Idaho history. Originally from Ohio, Creech's five murder convictions span Idaho, Oregon, and California. His first conviction was in 1975 for killing Edward Arnold and John Bradford in Valley County, Idaho the year before. A first degree murder charge was a mandatory death sentence under Idaho law at the time. But in 1979, the Idaho Supreme Court ruled that law unconstitutional. So Creech's death sentence got reduced to life. While in prison, he was convicted of two other murders, also committed in 74. William Dean in Oregon, Vivian Robinson in California. Those convictions came in 1979 and 1980. A year later, in 81, Creech murdered fellow inmate David Dale Jensen inside an Idaho State maximum security prison. Authorities say he beat Jensen to death with a sock full of batteries and stomped on his head and neck. Once again, a judge put Creech on death row. After more than a decade of appeals and a ruling reversing that decision, Creech was sentenced to death for the third and final time in 1995. In 98, KTVB talked to him. And if I'm eventually executed, then that's, that's part of that price also. I mean, I'll walk out there and, and uh, with my head held up. Now, nearly 30 years later, the Idaho Supreme Court denied the latest attempt from Creech's team to save him. Friday, they announced February 28th's execution will move forward. It'll be the state's first since 2012. Creech's attorneys can still file an appeal with the U.S. Supreme Court. Creech has been linked to other murders, most recently a California cold case from 1974. The Ada County Prosecutor's Office says he previously claimed to have killed dozens more. And Abby, you know, there have been a number of executions scheduled for Creech over the years, right? Yeah, that's right, Shira. I'm actually told this is the 11th scheduled ex execution for him. All right, Abby Davis, thank you for walking us through that. And earlier tonight, Creech's attorney sent us a statement about the Idaho Supreme Court's decision. It said in part, we are disappointed that the Idaho Supreme Court chose not to answer the question of whether it's unconstitutional for Idaho to execute someone who was sentenced to death by a judge without a jury when it's the last state in the country putting such people to death. They went on to say, we will continue to fight to keep the government from killing a harmless, deeply remorseful old man who is beloved by the prison staff that will have to carry out his execution. Now, we also reached out to the attorney general's office, but haven't heard back.